Yo, what's good? It's been Empire here back with another video, and today we're going to be hopping into a, another College Football 25 video. Today we're going to be running the Arizona Wildcats offensive ebook, and in this offense we have a lot of good formations to love. Now, starting out we have the Gun Trips tight end, which is obviously, as you guys know, by far one of the best formations in the game. So much to like out of here. Some of the main plays that we're going to talk about are going to be wide post, quick base, switch Y in, drive post, and flood. There's a read option as well. There is an RPO alert bubble as well. So we will talk about some of those runs for sure. Um, some of the other passing and other formations that we like are gun tight way off. I did post a separate video on this, but we're going to obviously cover it in the ebook. And then the other formation is going to be the single back deuce close. Now, there will be a written version for this ebook down below. It is going to be in the description. It is going to be pinned in the comment section. It is available for purchase. Included in this written version of the ebook is every single setup that I talk about throughout today's video written down. It's going to have the exact setups. It makes it incredibly easy to follow along and actually learn the offense and easily get good at it, um, as well as all the coverages that each play beats. Very easily color recorded. I've never had anybody complain after purchasing the ebook. They're a super affordable price as well. So we are going to start out in the Gun Trips tight end. In fact, I'm literally going to look at this ebook the entire time that I record the video. So let's start out in the Gun Trips tight end formation. And we obviously did set our audibles to these Y post, quick base, flood, and RPO alert bubble. And we are going to come out in Y post, which is going to be our stable play, which is on the right hand side there. And so without further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. If you guys uh, want more eBooks, let me know which other formations or playbooks you'd like to see in the future. So we're gonna start out in Y post. And in Y post, we have a few interesting things. We have a nice little tight end route here. We have a nice little corner route here. And then we have a few other things we can work around. We're mainly gonna work around our tight end route with this post route, it's a really good post. So our first setup is going to be streak Y, drag X, flat RB, and then we're actually going to motion Murphy across this X wide receiver and kind of have him going from right to left. Now we are going to go through decently fast. Obviously we have a lot of setups in this video, which makes getting that written version even better because it allows you to slow down, take your time, actually be looking at the setups as I go through them rather than, you know, having to remember all of them. So again, we're gonna streak Y, we are going to flat RB, drag X, and let's motion him across. Now, corner out, can we hit the corner out? We definitely can, we just need time. And then obviously we have the post as well. So if we get the time, McMillan gets wide open right here with that streak clear out. So I'll show the setup one more time. Obviously you could hit this flat route really on every play if we wanted. Um, but then we have the underneath route and we have this post route in the middle of the field that we can hit. So a lot of good options there. Hopping into setup number two, what we're going to go through and do here is we are going to put A on a corner out, RB on a Texas, Y on a flat, X on a curl, and B on a drag. This setup is going to be kind of our curl flat look. If you guys are familiar with that, you could smart out A if you want, but curl flat is a really solid play. Really, you're looking drag angle route combo immediately. So we can hit this drag, and it's just a super easy gain. Really, you're going to throw it to whoever he doesn't defend. So, you know, if he defends if he defends the drag, you'd hit the angle route or the Texas route. If he defends the angle route, you could hit the drag, or you have a little high-low read on the left side. Always one of these two guys should be open. Um, curls good against man coverage. This corner out, if you smart out it, it's a good high-low between the drag and the corner out going to the right. So we have... Just a lot of options here. There's a look at hitting the angle route. This is really gonna be our big play potential. We want him to forget about the angle, which he should, because there's not all that many angle routes in this ebook as a whole. So it's gonna be a little bit unexpected out of the backfield. And then over here on the left side, could you hit this curl? You could, it's a tight window. You'd probably wanna go flat, but it just depends on the coverage that you're facing. Setup number three is going to be Y on a drag. We're gonna put A on a deep cross, RB on a flat, and X on a fade. So here is a look at this setup. So we can go through here and not throw, I, I pressed the wrong button there. So I do apologize for that, but let's set that up again. Deep cross A, we're going to uh, drag Y, we are going to Fade X, flat RB, 
Mm, I think streak B. Or we could, um... Hmm. For some reason, B on the corner route doesn't make a lot of sense. I think I would actually flip this. So you'll... Sorry, I think I made a mistake in writing the ebook, which is actually good that we made the mistake now because really what we want to do is D cross A, fade X, flat RB, drag Y. I guess this could be the setup. Mm -hmm. Then we could uh, motion B across. Oh, so you want to motion B over, and that's going to kind of turn him from a post or a corner out into a post. I forgot to put that in, but it's good that we remember now because obviously we can go through here and I can actually add this right now to it just to make sure that everything is accurate so immediately your first read is going to be the halfback out of the backfield we are almost able to pick up 10 yards there just immediately a money route and um obviously if i want to flip these guys streak y drag x that's fine we're really trying to hit a if we can and he gets really wide open. The drag in that spot I think is better because it does open up the deep cross a little bit more, just timing wise. The depth makes it incredibly difficult for anybody to user this. So I'll show it just one more time here. We saw the deep cross. The, could the post get open on the back end? It could. Uh, you could also, I guess you wouldn't smart route it. I didn't mean to do that, but you could also put him on a manual post. You could kind of hit him in this window here, boom. So options, obviously drag wide open, you could hit that as well. So. Let's move into setup number four. What we're going to do here is streak Y, flat RB, slant B, and quick out X. So here's a look at this. Um, first read is going to be X over here. If we can hit this, we would take that all the time. Now, that was an inaccurate pass, but obviously if that is going to be open, that's who we want to throw it to. So again, slant B, flat RB, speed out X, streak Y. If you're not going to hit him, you have easy slant route here that we're going to take. If he uses the slant, then we're going to wait on the post coming back across. So, a lot of options. If he's playing off coverage, throw this out route every play. It's going to be open. And then this post. I like clicking on it and undercutting a lot. It depends on the coverage. Obviously, with a high safety in the middle there, it's going to be something you want to do against any other formation or defensive play. It could be a little bit different. Now, next setup is going to be RB on a wheel route. We're going to put RB on a wheel. Then we're going to flat Y, and we're just going to straight up motion him across. No other setup necessary. We have this little in, in route, which is really a, a, almost a drag route. We still have the corner. We still have the post. So spacing should be good on this play. And obviously, we're trying to hit the wheel or this in route. Now, the wheel right here is very good. It can be even better if you're a little bit further on the left going to this wheel concept. One of my favorite things to do against um, what, I'm, what I like... I generally like having my trips on the left side if I have a right-handed QB. So even if I'm on the left hash a little bit more, this is a good play because the wheel route will be even more open. So we can hit the wheel, obviously motioning over the flat. Just does a great job of opening that. Of course, this backside in route is going to be money. And if we have to, it, and again, this is a, a different a coverage with two hook curls that are going to be there all the time. That's not going to always be the case. Um, there could be situations where it's a user and one hook curl. So a lot of these routes, like the tight end, could be open in different windows. Like even he's, I meant to click on there and like undercut it. You see why it's so important to do that against a high safety. But that's obviously a concept you want to get good at. So next setup is RB on a wheel again. We're going to flat Y. We're actually going to be on a zig route and X on a comeback. So a few unique routes, the zig and the comeback. Generally, we're trying to open up the zig, the wheel, or the post. We got three simple routes there. Um, Zig is usually who we want to. The comeback does a really good job of pulling up zones. So you see the curl flat. Normally it would play that a little bit more aggressively, but it actually does pull it up because of the comeback route. So that is something that we love to see. So we have that Zig. Could you hit the comeback as well? You definitely could. The comebacks are very underrated here. Now, I don't know why that um, flat route went like that, but whatever. So that's a good setup. Moving on, we got be on a slant or be on a flat streak Y smokescreen X. So here is a look pretty similar to what we did earlier. Just no um, out route with X. We really just keep the uh, smoke screen. So kind of a similar look. Again, if that's the user, that's going to be open. If not, you could hit the slant. So and even if you want to try and hit him late, you could. 
I like having the smoke screen if we do have to scramble. But generally it's going to be a quick hitter. Hit the slant if it's open, especially just depending on the spacing of the play. Like slant's open, we're going to throw it. If not, we know that the post should be coming across open. Just depending on the spacing, obviously it depends on the coverage. Very much so. So next setup is going to be streak A, Texas RB, deep cross B, corner Y, speed out X. Here's a look. Interesting play design. We're trying to open up this angle route a lot. Um, obviously we have this nice little high low. We're trying to hit X early if he's open. Corner out, not going to be doing a whole lot for us unless that's like a, maybe a cover two look. Then we have the deep cross over here that we can definitely hit on the sidelines right in this window. So definitely a solid play. It's going to be really B or RB that we're trying to, you know, throw it to. Um, could you have a backside drag coming across? You definitely could. This would be an added setup that is not even in the ebook necessarily, but this is easily something that we could Im implement and, you know, obviously hit right here. I think we'll have a few setups kind of similar to this, but just to throw out some ideas, like obviously we don't have to throw and follow all the setups in the ebook by the book. You could definitely customize it and get creative, you guys. There's a lot of creativity open in this offense for sure. I like these out routes, and if he's playing the sticks, if he's playing cover two, then that's when you could go drag route and be like, hey, he's not leaving it open for us. Now the angle route's usually gonna run the route fine. Every once in a while you'll see kind of a situation where he's not gonna play that the greatest. You know, that's reality, it's gonna happen. It's perfectly okay. So let's hop into our last setup out of this uh, Y post play. And what we're gonna do here is put Y actually on a post route. We're gonna put B on a drag, or B on a Texas. We're gonna block our tight end, and then we're gonna put X on a little fade. Motion him across the formation. So this is just a nice little spacing concept. Six man protection, we haven't had a whole lot of those. We will have some of those um, a little bit later, specifically in some of the other formations, but Backside post, angle route drag, just a super simple concept for you guys. Like, Y is going to be the guy we want to hit in this window right there. Otherwise, you have two underneath routes. So really, that post is going to be open on every play. Because assuming someone sees a quick hitter of a drag angle route combo, they are really never going to use it. Uh, the other thing you could add is like a little corner out here um, with the tight end. If you didn't want to block him, I'm okay with that. And that creates now... I don't know what our right tackle was doing over there. I think it had to do with the angle route. Um, but that's a good setup as well. I will show that one more time here. Bada bing. So if he's sending the heat, this is a good six man protection. Throw him on the, you throw him even on a deeper corner out if you want. But we'll block him, spacing purposes. Drag angle route. Even then we can hit the angle route in this tight window. Threw it a little bit late there. But that's clearly something that we can go to on a very routine basis so um, anyways the next setup that we're going to go to is the flood play so out of the flood play it's very interesting we have a deep cross from the tight end which is kind of what we're going to use mainly i like this little baby flat from mcmillan like you can just usually hit him over there having a good receiver <laughs> definitely helps but that's an easy route now we're going to take this to the next level what i like doing is wheeling the running back, I'm going to put B on a flat. We're going to put Y just on a quick zig motion. Um, we're in the wrong play. You'll see me do that a few times. Forget to audible. We're okay. So here is the setup. Motion him from left to right. He's going to flip. Boom. So first read is going to be this wheel route. Now again, sometimes the spacing is weird. We threw it a little bit early. Probably on this setup, it's going to be even better to be like middle hash to even a little bit left side. Obviously, there's pros and cons. So again, here's a look. Kind of a quick snap play. I like incorporating the motion a lot. So here's kind of the window you want to throw it to him. I do recommend possession catching. I pass light inside, which really forced the incompletion there. But I mean, you guys saw even out of the other play, it was open really a lot. So that's going to be read number one. If the wheel is not open, you're going to have other options. Like specifically, obviously the crosser is something we want to hit. The zig route should be open on the left side as well. But obviously if we get the time, we're trying to hit that crosser over the top. Now obviously the crosser is going to be a little bit better from this side. Now the wheel should be open regardless, but it's just mixing it up. Kind of the biggest thing here. 
I'm sick of audibling, so we're gonna just come out and flood, <laughs> cause I'm not loving the audibles here. So, let's come out in flood. So here we have the zig, and then if you could hit the crosser later, obviously he's gonna be coming across open. So that's a good play. Next setup out of flood is going to be Y on a drag, RB on a wheel, B on a flat. Basically the same thing, we just have a backside drag. I like the drag to wheel combo actually a lot. It's very underrated having this drag here because it opens up the crosser. Having the drag is your number one thing to open up a tight end post or a tight end crosser. Uh, you saw it when we went with Y post. It's very good, and it's probably a little bit better. Now, it just depends on how he's playing it. If he's not playing the sidelines over there, then we could hit the zig route, and probably the zig is going to be more successful than the drag is, but the drag is to open up other things. So, it's just a pro and con game. It just depends on really what coverage you're facing. A cover three, you're probably going to go outside. If it's a cover two, you're probably going to go inside. But this is really who we're trying to hit. Just a lot of space for that one. The wheels, generally speaking, will do a very good job of baiting the user to go over to the right. Um, super effective at doing that. So having them on the field is immediately gonna pull the user, hey, I gotta go defend that. So last set about a flood is gonna be Y on a corner. We're gonna put B on an out and RB on a flat. Here's a look at this setup. A Little bit interesting. We're gonna try and hit this corner out over here. We have a flood. We're trying to distract the user with this crosser. Obviously, if he's not there, we'd hit him. We're really trying to hit Y here. And it's a good pass if we get enough time there. Very good against cover three, cover two. It should work against cover four as well. Now, could you leave the baby flat there? You definitely could with McMillan. I'm okay with that. It doesn't matter if it's a man coverage. The out route is going to be a lot better because it just gives you an option. You have crosser out route. If it's not man coverage, then obviously... This is gonna be perfectly okay. So having the flat out here is just another safety net. You could block the running back out of this play. I'm more than okay with that. I like taking out of this, taking off in this setup. I like actually getting my slide animation to go off, but that's a good setup. Let's hop into some of the run plays. We have a few more passes, but let's go to the quick base. What do I like about the quick base? Now you're gonna wanna be patient. You're actually gonna wanna snap the ball and you're not gonna wanna hold the right trigger necessarily immediately best thing to do out of any kind of a pulling play is to let your offensive lineman get over there especially if he's in a uh, heavy pass defense which he should be you're going to be passing the ball majority of the time but just being patient you see look at the patience there it's tempting you can see the hole but you just want to wait for it because if you're a little bit impatient it can create problems now I'm, I'm a fan of using using motion in the run game even if it's to the opposite side I'm a big fan of it because not only does it make the user think pass immediately or you're the, the, you know your opponent, it's going to do a good job of like, hey, it's one last player that's going to get shedded and it kind of moves that guy over just a little bit, but sometimes it just makes the assignments a little more obvious for your offensive linemen. Sometimes the receivers will whiff on blocks and leave your players out of position. Now, if it works perfectly, we'd like you to have the wide receiver that's going to block the run the uh, linebacker that actually allows us to get away with like some impatient running i just held turbo from the get-go there but sometimes less is more actually in the run game so quick base it, it's, it's a good concept to use it's going to be your best run i think you could go read option with the mobile quarterback another thing that i do is i kind of like motion that guy in a step i'm okay with doing that um, like motioning this guy in, Liminus Craig, kind of getting him across here. Now, that's a situation where being patient is better. I was a little bit patient, not as patient as I should have been, though. Uh, regardless, let's hop into our last two passing plays, and then that RPO that we have as well, which is the RPO alert bubble, which we already have in the audibles, so we'll throw in the switch Y in. And then the other play is the drive post on the right hand side here. Inside of the drive post, I am going to drag Y, streak A, flat RB, and put X on a post as well. Pretty simple flood concept. 
hit this post in the middle of the field. We have a backside post as well, a little drag, a little flat. Everything is moving right to left. First read can be drag flat. Really, both of them are open there. Dealer's choice. And then we have kind of the stars of the show. We could hit this post in the middle on the back end. That route will get extremely open because of the drags and everything moving right to left. Um, now really Y is already on a drag, so I don't you don't necessarily need to actually do that. But B, I like him as a crosser. Now that was not even a good pass lead at all, but with the, any kind of a pass lead, he's gonna be fine. And then, I mean, you just got your underneath routes. So everything is throwable in that play. Very good play. Let's hop into the RPO alert bubble here. So RPO alert bubble going to be fairly simple. You're either going to hand it off or throw the bubble. So I do recommend putting your best wide receiver in that B spot where we did put McMillan. That was by design. We put him there because he's the best receiver, and that's the spot that you generally will throw the ball to the most. So everything is done by design on purpose. Now, good blocking receiver is certainly going to help. Y is not doing us many favors in this particular case. I mean, and then the other option is obviously to just hand the football off, and it's going to be a decent inside zone. You see that it's going to be a way worse run than the base, so if you're trying to run the ball, don't run this play. This is really more so if we can get the bubble to work, we're going to try and use it. It could be decent. It depends on the coverage. Having They have a guy kind of out there already with number five. They were base aligned. I'm a lot more better off running this play. Obviously, that could be the user as well. So if he sees run, maybe he crashes immediately. Maybe he goes out. Just go where he isn't. Simple enough. <clears throat> Last play is going to be switch Y in before we hop into some other formations. Switch Y in. What we're going to do is drag B, smart route X, deep cross A. And then we're going to motion Y across, and we are going to put him on a post route. Now, uh, with RB, you can do whatever. He's kind of blocked. I'm fine with him being blocked because you don't really need to flat him. But here's the setup. Again, what opens up the deep cross? Backside drag. We did it again. And then Y should really be open as well. So this is a really good setup. This is one of the best setups that you will see in today's video. It is super underrated. You could even hit X over here probably. So again, it is a very simple setup, smart out X. Um, drag B, deep cross A, and then you're gonna put Y on a backside post as well. Now Y is gonna be on a little bit of a better post. Window, perfect. <clears throat> Really just an unstoppable setup. I'll show it one more time here. And, so, and again, less is more. Could I put the running back on like a flat or an angle route? I could, it's a little bit too much going on. Keep it simple. And again, the post really opens up the drag as well. So everything kind of works with each other. But let's hop into our next formation here. Now, the next formation we're going to run is going to be the gun tight white off. And out of the gun tight white off, there's a lot to like. Specifically, what I like out of the gun tight white off is going to be these particular plays. It's going to be... <clears throat> let's actually set our audibles because I didn't. But we are going to have... Tight end corner. We are going to have... Red zone scissors. We're going to have inside zone. Could we have read option? Yes. Where's inside zone? And then we're gonna go have PA go slot cross. So other runs, plays that are good. RPO alert bubble out of this solid as well. We're gonna touch on mesh post. We're gonna touch on choice pivot return. You have read option if you want it. Start out in tight end corner. Now tight end corner. <clears throat> going to be the kind of the bread and butter we're going to work off of it first setup deep cross y corner a block the running back very simple setup we have a quick out with b this route money against man deep crosser baby baby uh corner route so really we're trying to hit x here 
I'm gonna go get uh, water real quick because my voice is killing me. All right, we're back. So tight end corner, going back to it. Let's run this first setup again. And what we're gonna do here is just again, deep cross Y. <clears throat> A's already on a corner route, but I like this shorter corner route a little bit better. B is a route that I love. This speed out, it's gonna kill man coverage. Now against zone, it's not gonna be greatest thing on planet earth, right? But uh, you have the option for a high low read and then you have the deep cross over the top if we can hit it. Again, imagine a scenario where one of those guys is user and one of those guys sprints to the out or the underneath route. It looks a lot better in game than it does on paper. Regardless, that's not the best setup. The next setup we're gonna do is deep cross B, streak A, block the running back. Very simple look. <clears throat> High low between X and B. B should be open with the streak over the middle. And um, some pass interference there create a little bit of issues for us. And that's kind of the window you want to throw him in. Obviously him not getting bumped. Going to be ideal. Now, I don't even dislike moving the ball a little bit over here as well. This would hypothetically open up your out route. Never mind. Don't throw a pick six. Against cover two, it would. Cover four, it would. <clears throat> but show that setup one more time here. Obviously, oh, he's defended. We can hit this guy. And if you get enough time late, the crosser should come across as well. So next setup is going to be streak B, flat RB. Very simple. We're really trying to open up the tight end here. So having the time in this play is going to be crucial. If we can roll out even better, a lot of space for that. Now it does take a lot of time. I do recommend moving the running back out of the backfield though. Could you block him and it works? It would. But having the high low is nice. Obviously McMillan is still going to be wide open over here. But there's a lot of space for that throw which makes it even better. One more time for you guys. Here it is. Let's say, oh, I'm pressured. This route is going to be open all day and it is an easy five yards plus. Depending on the coverage, if there's no linebacker over there. It could be 10 easy. So take advantage of that. Now, last set about a tight end corner is going to be X on a streak and B on a drag. We're trying to open up Y. Obviously on this play, we have drag angle route. Beautiful concept. The backside corner route, does it matter? It does not. Now, this setup would probably be a little bit better to the right a little bit. So moving to the right, could you motion out X? I don't know if you even, you can't even motion this guy out, which is super unfortunate with this formation, but um, getting enough time. He's a little bit more open if we're in the middle, I guess. It's so weird the way that players play based on coverages. Like you see, he's wide open there. So being in the middle is probably your best spacing. Hit the drag, the angle route. Those will be open regardless. One of those guys should be open. Drag, angle route, angle route corner route, like boom. That's the spacing we want. Being in the middle hash, I guess, is really important for that play. See a world of difference. But one of these guys gonna be open as well. Take advantage. Let's move into our next plays though. We got red zone scissors and out of the red zone scissors play. First setup is going to be drag X streak B, and we're actually going to block the tight end here. Never mind, I was running a different setup because I got confused. We're going to post B and streak Y. I'm trying to hit RB here, really, on this corner route. And you can actually hot route the running backs on the corner route this year, which is a really interesting concept. Now, that's going to be your first read. The tight end is open as well on this play. Later reads in route, this post kind of can get thrown on by itself. Now, obviously, it's like as the linebacker, do we defend the post or do we defend the running back route? Really, you would have to pick one, so the post would be a little bit more open than it kind of is at the moment. But this route's wide open, the running back route is wide open. I mean, even then, he's going to have to pick. Do I defend the running back or do I defend the in route? One of those two will be open on every play. So even if the post is taken away, it's perfectly okay. Otherwise the post could be hit. Next setup, deep cross B, drag it, run the wrong play. 
we're going to uh, deep cross B, drag X, and streak Y. Drag's gonna flip. You could put X on the deep cross and B on the drag, but it is better this way with B on the deep cross, I will tell you, just from the experience. That's the window. I don't know why you couldn't catch that ball, but Mm -mm -mm. We'll go back to it just one more time for you guys. Drag X, streak Y, deep cross B, and then you just motion them across. Running back still going to be open. Drag, you saw it was wide open on that last play. Like, boom. I like falling down. Avoid the hits at all costs. That's red zone scissors. Let's hop into BA Goat slot cross. Now out of this play, I like drag X, streak B. Block that tight end and flat RB with Y on a deep cross. Simple setup. Pressured, I'm going to check it down. If you get enough time, Y is going to come across open. Really, you're trying to hit him on the sidelines here. I'll show this one more time. And that is the spacing, money in the bank. Could you keep the tight end on the flat and just run the play action? Definitely you could. It's up to you guys. Next setup out of this play is deep cross Y again. We're gonna actually motion X over. We're gonna put him on a corner route. And then we're gonna streak B. Uh, similar setup to what we just watched out of flood in trip set end. <clears throat> but X should get open here. Is the spacing going to be a little bit better to the left? Probably. So you guys can already see some plays you already have in mind. Like, hey, I could go to this play if I'm on the left because it's going to be a little bit more open. Could you leave Y on his route? Definitely. Now we have terrible throw again, but you see there's some space out there to throw it. If you can get a good throw, it's money in the bank. Now... Let's go to the choice pivot. Let's talk about the inside zone. Now, the inside zone, it's just an inside zone. There's not a whole lot to this. Basic run play. The RPO word bubble is actually a lot more exciting out of this formation, I think. A lot more usable, in my opinion. But we still have choice pivot return and mesh spot. Now it's decent, you see it's even better out of trips tight end than it is against this, just because it's more balanced, so running to the left is a little bit weaker. Back box can be a little bit more stacked because it is a tight formation, so it's just harder to run. There we get really good blocks with awful stick work, but we still pick up about 10, so it can be okay. Just a, you're you're going to have to play against the perfect defense, trying to run the ball out of a tight formation. Reality of the situation. So let's hop into those last two passing plays, and then we'll throw that RPO alert bubble in the mix. Mm, and mesh spot and we'll come out on the choice pivot return all right choice pivot return we're gonna post b flat rb streak x very simple setup a money maker y obviously is going to be open on the corner we kind of saw that a little bit earlier b on the backside post as well now in the situation that that's the user and he comes down and defends the um, route here or route here, that's open. If he's not, you can hit the him all day. So really you're looking A or B and then we have Y over there. So his route is money, really good against man coverage. Now we have the 67 overall tight end in the game right now because I only audible to him out in um, trips. But that is a good setup. You could block the running back. I'm okay with that. And then corner out over here. Going to be open as well. Good setup number one. Good man coverage beaters overall. Setup number two. Deep cross Y. We're going to streak B. Flat RB. Motion X over, and you can do a few things with him. I usually just go like hitch route, 
Could you corner him? Yes. I like Hitch a little bit better in this case. <clears throat> but you're going to have Y on the sidelines. And then A or X. Man coverage, A or Y is going to be open. Spacing wise, I like. God, my voice hurts so bad. If you get enough time, the corner out or the crosser should be coming across open. So let's hop into mesh post now. <laughs> Add a mesh post. We have, or a uh, mesh spot. We have one setup we like. Flat B post A hitch X streak Y. <clears throat> Wheel. It's gonna be good. Bread and butter. You have a little bit more space here because you have the tight end on the post. Not that we didn't earlier, but it just depends on the formation, right? Did you flip these guys? Yeah, X and Y, you could flip them. But um, obviously we have our hitch open by the looks of that. Tight end would be coming across open. Could you put them on a deep cross? Yes, you could. I don't have it in this setup so the video, but you definitely could. Again, you can get creative with some of these. Could we go drag? We've seen that the drag already works with drawing the defenders down. We could hit them over the top. So just get creative, you guys. But let's hop into the RPO alert bubble here. What do we have that I like? Speed out. That's really going to be the first guy I throw it to because I will force feed him for five yards until you're going to play cover two hard flats. I will. Other route is the bubble, which will be successful. Again, really throw it to where he's not. If he's going to run out and defend one of them, one of these will always be open. You just have to make the right decision, and that's going to come with practice. You could go and run this play against random defenses in practice mode for 15 to 20 minutes, and it would pay extreme dividends if you're going to run this playbook in formation. So, really you want to pass the ball, running the ball again out of these RPOs is going to be a little bit weaker, but in the case of like, hey... Everybody's going out and you get good blocks. You could run the ball and have a seven or eight yard gain. Let's hop into the last formation in our video, which is going to be the single back deuce close. It's going to be much more run centric formation. You guys have heard of this formation if you've played for a while, <clears throat> but there's a lot to like flood trail, dive, stretch, PA stretch shot will be our audibles for today the uh, other play we like to run is going to be the PA boot scissors it's going to be on the left hand side there boom other runs include wham O1 one trap counter Y the wham we can kind of create manually O1 one trap is a little bit interesting you have a QB sweep as well which is an interesting two-point conversion play if you guys want a video on deuce close I would be more than happy to bring that I probably will post one eventually but let's start out on the ground actually Simple stretch. Now, it's easier to run against cover two than cover three or any kind of a cover four shell, cover six shell, whatever. Cover three is more symmetrical, so it's kind of like, hey, we'll just pick one. Holding the blocks is going to be more ideal, right? But stretch, dive, you guys kind of know the deal with those. We'll just run them a few times. Even at the worst, four yards, you'll take every time, right? Now we're getting a little bit unlucky with like running into our defenders and people shedding, but I think you guys can see that these runs are pretty dang solid. Like, yeah, you'll have cases where we get shedded, but <clears throat> this is really more of a dive look anyway with these guys. And <clears throat> God damn, my voice is hurting really bad.
It's a really good way to create a, like a halfback wham. You can motion that tight end, snap him. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk, try and talk the least amount. My voice is really hurting me. But they're decent. First pass is gonna be flood trail. Out of this, I like to deep cross X and streak Y, block the running back. Drag angle route deep crosser. We already know what gets wide open. Deep crosser with the drag always gets wide open. Obviously, drag angle route, similar to the drag Texas out of the uh, running backs. Plays good. PA stretch shot. <clears throat> Slant B, flat RB, and streak A. Deep cross, slant, flat, very good setup. Got the one thing that's unfortunate is the blocking out of Deuce Close. It's not the strongest, so sometimes sending five out makes your life a little bit tougher, but you just have to make quick reads, right? It's going to sail the ball. Oh my god, bro. Can we block? What are we doing? I'm trying to get this play to work, but when you're all lined as a bunch of idiots and they're not able to hold a block for more than 10 seconds, it's tough. RB is wide open. Y is open. B is open early. Take advantage, fellas. And we got the fun play, P boot scissors. And out of this play is a nice cover three beater that we can use. So obviously we're gonna have the post going from the other side. Streak A, corner Y, drag X, trying to hit B here, and there the corner out didn't even get off, still wide open, really good cover three beating touchdown, <clears throat> streak A, corner Y, drag X, here the corner out does actually get off. And it's still open, even with bad throwing, throwing that late. So, good setup there. Next setup, <clears throat> deep cross B, streak A, slant X, flat Y. Deep cross, slant combo again. Really easy to hit this crossers over the top. I like the play action. It seems to hold the linebackers a little bit, almost like it is in real life, you know. Be careful though, tight formation, throwing across the middle of the field. Pretty self-explanatory, but that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. Again, you can get the written version, pin in the comment section and in the description. Peace, I'm out of here.